Steven is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Oh, oh. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Oh, oh. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe. Morning. Well, I'm back after my summer holiday and I decided I'd have a, a quick dig with Mark, who's joined me over there. And uh, we're on a permission that I've not been on for a couple of years. Never really did find much here. And then I thought to myself, well, maybe it's because it was in the first year of me starting and learning the coil I didn't find much. Maybe there's more here than meets the eye, so I decided to come back. Been going for probably, oh, nearly an hour maybe. And uh, so far I've got five cow tubes and loads of lead. Now also, I've decided to make this video, as you've seen probably from the thumbnail. This is gonna be the Digging Brit Challenge. And while she's only got, and I say only, got 50 something thousand subscribers, which in the scheme of things for a big YouTuber isn't a great deal, makes me look minuscule she gets lots of views I mean sometimes hundreds of thousands even millions of views and in a short time and it's the views that really count to how su successful your channel is not how many subscribers you've got so I thought how does she do it there's two obvious assets on her thumbnails nearly every thumbnail has got two qualities about them so I thought I know what I'm gonna do I'm going to replicate what she's doing and see if it works for me. Well, I can't really find it. Now, I've got a cameraman today with me. And uh, that's Mark, who's going to do the same sort of angle that Digging Brick does. There you go. Oh, whoa! If you're watching this Digging Brit, the real reason for the video is called Digging Brit Challenge is because you find lots of rubbish like I do and you turn it into stuff like I do. So we're going to have a challenge today to see who can find something today, whatever it is, and turn it into something. So may the best man or woman win. An hour and three quarters and so far this is the best signal I've had. So let's dig it live and hope that it's something I can turn into something else. <laughs> Fine, here we go. Aha! It's a 303 bullet. Happy with that. I know just what I can do with it. Not a great deal I can do with it, but I can do something with that. Watch this space. Well, it might only be a Victoria penny, but it's my first coin today. So I can probably turn that into something as well. Well, it sounds all right, 87. sound like a coin to me. It's a bit messy that signal. It's not perfectly sweet in both directions. Still sounds the same now. Take a bit more out of there. Oh, cow tube. That's about 10 I've found today so far. Haven't shown you those. Oh well, I can't turn those into anything. That sounds good. 92. Mark's the cameraman again. It's a bit rubbish on it. Oh. No idea what that is. No. Yep. Got a bit of iron in that end, isn't it? I've not found much yet apart from a Victorian penny and a bullet which I can turn into something and see if I can beat digging Brit. I need to find something else like a piece of silver. 
Oh well. Keep going. Have you found out yet? Not a lot. Not a lot. Rubbish. Fuck off. Thought that was a brooch. Oh, that's an ear tag. Just that one. Oh, yes, a brooch for a sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Rubbish. We think that might be a coin. Probably a half penny. Yeah, not sure. Mate, well, I don't know what that is, but it's old. Not that old, I guess, but probably Victorian, something like that. It's quite thin, well decorated. Could have been a decoration off some sort of leather harness or something like that. Ooh, he's on the target. Could this be the change of our luck today? What is it? Oh, it's a tent peg. Well, it's a shame that they weren't wearing something decent when they lost it. Never mind. I've got it now. That gave a nice little silver squeak, so I dug the hole and listened to it now. Edward? No, no. Uh, let's look at that. It's a shilling. 1874. Oh, that's in good nick. Now then, this puts a whole different spin on it. Digging Brit. I've now got something. You see me dig up a bullet and a Victoria penny. And now I've got something decent to turn into something like you do. I'm going to make you a finger ring. So this is the challenge. Hopefully you'll see this video and respond. And just you'll pick one day to ch take something you found and choose one item you found and make it into something and show me. This is what I'm showing you. So watch me as I turn this into a ring. Meanwhile, let's fill this hole in. Well, hello, Brit. I'm back in my little office, workshop, studio, man cave. And I've got that shilling here, which you saw me dig up. And I'm going to turn this into a finger ring. And also I'm going to use the center that I punch out of this coin to make you a key ring. So let's get on with the process and I'll show you how I do it. Now then, Brit, I'm going to finish this now by plating this for you in rose gold, inside and out. It is 92.5% silver, so I could leave it as it is. It won't make a mark on your finger like a coin would do with lesser silver content or no silver at all, but it might look nice. I've never done one in rose gold before, so yours will be the first one. Every piece is unique. It's been dug out of the ground, probably after many decades of being lying in the ground 
and now it can be loved again by somebody. In this particular case, it's you. So let's get on with the gold plating. show you this finished thing on the turntable I just need now to take the middle of the coin which I punched out and make that into a key ring for you. <laughs> 